Hi everyone and welcome to Creative Chelsea. If you like this video, please let me know by giving it a thumbs up or commenting below. If you want to see more of my videos, press the subscribe button and click on the bell for notifications. If you need any Stampin' Up! products to make this card, you can visit my online store and the link is in the description box below. So today I'd like to share with you how I created this fun card using some new products from the annual catalog. One of the new products I'm using is this lovely U stamp set. And this stamp set is great. One of my favorite things about it are the greetings. And I love that the greetings include both a handwritten script as well as a type font. I love this combination. And I also love what the greetings say. And there's lots of them as well. So you can get a lot of different cards from one stamp set. I also love the floral and fauna images and that they're solid. And so they're really easy to create with. And today I'm also going to show you how you can add some color to those images to give them some variety. Another thing that I'm using that is new is this new label shape. And it comes from the Tasteful Labels die set. And there are 10 different shapes in these dies. And I've gone ahead and pre-cut those so you can see how large they are as well as some of the details. So on this side, all the shapes have this embossed side detail to them. I'm not sure if you can see that really well. This is the one we're using for our card. And then on the other side, we have five that include a stitched edge to them. And so all these shapes of labels come in this one die set. And so I really love that as well and wanted to use it today. We're also using some new in colors. So they are the 20, 2020, 2022 in colors. And we're using the Bumblebee yellow as well as the Just Jade. And then the last thing we're gonna use that's new is this cute gingham ribbon. And this is in the Bumblebee. And so I thought that texture was really fun to add to our card. So let's go ahead and get started with this card. So the card stock you're going to need is a Just Jade card base, and it is cut like a normal size, five and a half inches by eight and a half inches, and then scored at four and a quarter. You're also going to need a piece of Whisper White card stock that's cut to three inches wide by five and a quarter inches long, and that's the piece we're gonna be stamping on. You'll also need two scrap pieces of Whisper White card stock, and they really can be any size. We're going to be stamping our flower images on one and then our greeting on the other. And then we're also using a piece of Blackberry Bliss cardstock, which is a half inch strip by five inches. And then that gingham ribbon, and I'm using 13 inches of that. So to begin stamping, I'm just gonna take that three inch wide piece of Whisper White. I've got some scrap paper underneath and I'm going to pick up some of those leaf images that I really love from the stamp set. So this one as well as this one. And I'm going to be using two different colors of ink. We've got that new Just Jade. And then I really liked pairing that with the Mint Macaron. I kind of felt like they were in the same color family. And we've got the dark and the light versions. So I'm gonna start with this three leaf image and I'm gonna do that in Just Jade. And I'm just going to stamp along this left edge. So then I'm just going to continue to stamp this image all the way along this edge of this three inch piece. And there's no right or wrong. You may want to give it some space between some groupings so that you have some room for the other leaf image as well. something like that. You can put this color away. Next we're going to use the mint macaron and I've got this in the longer leaf image and I'm just going to do the same thing. Just stamp this around and along that left edge of this whisper white card base or of this whisper white cardstock. 
And it's okay if they come over slightly. It's, we kind of want to create a nice foliage look here. So we are done stamping our leaves. And if yours looks different, that's fine. You're just going to create some nice foliage along this left edge. So the next thing we're going to stamp are the flowers. And I'm just going to be using two of the different images. I've got this more solid, small flower, and then this bigger flower. And we're actually just going to use the top part and not the leaf part. And so I'm going to show you how I've done this. So the first image we're going to stamp is this little flower in Bumblebee. So you're going to begin by inking it up and then turn it over and we're going to add a little bit of the black to the center. And then you can go ahead and stamp and we're going to want five of these. So, so that we don't transfer ink back into our ink pad, you're just going to want to take your cleaning pad and clean the stamp and then you can just repeat this four more times. Okay, so we've got five of those cute little yellow flowers with a black center. So next I'm going to show you how you can add color directly to the stamp using the stamp, Stampin' Write markers. And so for this flower, I wanted it to have some purple hues. And so we're going to be using the Rich Razzleberry for the petals. So just go ahead and you can just color that right directly onto the stamp. And then you're going to use the Blackberry Bliss and we're going to color that into the bottom section. And then we're just going to bring that color up just slightly by tapping on some color along that bottom edge. And we don't want to use a stroke here because we don't want it to be a nice solid line. We want there to be a little bit of a fuzzy look so that it looks like there's some shadows happening at the bottom of those petals. Go ahead and stamp it, and then you can kind of see how that looks. So we're gonna go ahead and repeat this two more times. Okay, so there are all the flowers for our card. So the next step would be to fussy cut these out. And so I'm just gonna cut out one on camera and then I'll turn off the camera and finish fussy cutting them. So I'm all done with that one. You can see that it's not perfect and I kind of gave it a nice border of about 16th of an inch all the way around. So I'm going to go ahead and finish fussy and cutting these and come right back. So I have finished fussy cutting those images out and now we're ready to move on to the next step. So the next step would be to stamp and die cut our greeting. And I'm going to use the greeting Cherished Friend, but any of the other greetings would fit inside this label shape. So if you liked something else, go ahead and pick that. I'm using the Blackberry Bliss just to create a nice dark image for the greeting. And I've just got a scrap piece of paper that will fit the label, and I'm just going to stamp that in the center.
Then I'm gonna take that label die and place it over the greeting so it's nice and centered and run this through my Big Shot. Okay, so I've gone ahead and cut that out. And now there's another little technique that I wanted to share with you. And I've created a kind of a bevel look. I'm not sure if you can see that. Maybe a little bit on this side. But there's a bevel along this edge as well as the detail. So the bevel isn't cut. The bevel isn't created when you cut it, but you do get this little detail along the edge. And so I'm going to just go show you how I added this bevel look or embossed look to my label. So what I did is I took that die and the cut label and I just placed it back inside of that die so that it fits perfectly. Then I've taken my pickup tool and there's another attachment that is this um, embossed ball edge. For some reason, I can't remember what that's called. Um, anyway, you just, to unlock these, you just twist. So I've unlocked it. I'm going to just go ahead and add that to my pickup tool. I'm going to use this small side, um, but you can use the large side if you would prefer that. So once that's in, I'm just going to run it around the edge. And the first time I'm doing this, it's actually just to create that detail, just to make sure that detail that is um, created when I cut it out, it shows up nice and strong. So I'm just pressing the paper into that detail along the edge. Okay, so I'll show you that. So now you can see that nice detail along the edge. So the next step is to actually create that bevel look. And so what I'm going to do is now take that and just go down until where the die is not anymore. And so I'm running this along the edge of the die. Now the key here is to make sure your paper doesn't move as well as that die. You don't want anything to move while you press that paper along the edge. Okay, so now you can see that there's that bevel that's making that paper stick out just a little bit and gives such a nice detail around that label shape. And so all I did is just felt for the edge here and I ran this tool along that edge and it created that shape. Okay, so now that part is done and we are ready to put our card together. So go ahead and fold your card base and use a foam folder to make a nice score. You're going to take your leaf image, you're going to add this Blackberry Bliss and you can use any type of adhesive that you prefer. Okay, so I've added the adhesive to the white paper so that it doesn't show up on the Blackberry Bliss. And I'm just going to kind of have that color peek out about a little less than a fourth of an inch coming off of that side. Next, we're going to add this to our card base. And we're just going to again, run some adhesive along the back. And then you're going to place this so that there's a nice border along the top right and bottom. And then if you want to open that up and then run your bone folder along the back so it creates a nice strong bond. Next let's add our greeting. And on the back of this I'm going to add some adhesive. So take the 13 inches of ribbon, you're going to find the middle and place that in the center at a slight angle on your label and then bring each end and wrap it so that you create kind of a faux bow along the back like so. I'm just going to open this one up just a little bit so that loop is a little bit bigger. And then if you want you can I'm going to see how that looks with that one tucked behind. Bring this up. There. More like that. 
So then you're going to add this with some dimensionals. I've just got some mini dimensionals here and I'm just gonna place them at the top and bottom so that there's plenty of room for this ribbon to move around as needed. And then I'm gonna place this along the bottom third or so of the card. Just make sure it's on there nice and straight. And then if I want, I can trim the ends of that ribbon to an angle. And now I'm going to just add the flowers that we fussy cut, and I'm going to use some glue dots. And I just have some glue dots probably from an old paper pumpkin kit. And I'm just gonna place a glue dot on the back of each one, and then we're going to place these flowers around the edge and the greeting of our card. Okay, so I'm just gonna start by adding the purple flowers, and I want to place my first one near my greeting, and then my second one I'm gonna place down here along the bottom of the greeting, and then the last one I want to place probably right around here. And then I'm going to add the yellow flowers Tuck one underneath that ribbon next to that purple flower. And then let's just add one, our last one we can place up here at the top, right there. Okay, so those flowers have been added to our card. And the very last thing we're going to place on our card would be some embellishments. And I'm just gonna use the champagne colored rhinestones and I just want these little tiny ones here at the top. I'm gonna to use my pickup tool. I've got the glue side with a little bit of glue out, or sticky, I guess it's more of a sticky, tacky substance, not really glue. And then I'm just gonna place a couple of rhinestones around my greeting and flowers. Like so. So I think this card has some really fun elements. The solid, images with some extra coloring, as well as this fun embossed look for the label. You could really recreate this card using any stamp set that you have. Just remember to stamp along this left edge and then create a fun focal point with a beautiful greeting like this one. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe, like, and share. Visit creativechelsea.com for a free tutorial of this project and to purchase the supplies needed. Have a creative day. Bye.